Hello my dear friends, let's start and here's the welcome page where we can start a new case or open an existing one. So uh, first of all uh, we can see the step-by-step -step guide that will help us to understand uh, how to navigate through our software, uh, what buttons means uh, and uh, yeah and here we can disable it uh, when we finished all the study process and we don't need it anymore. So let's keep it right now. And first of all we need to upload the um, upper jaw model where we can pick it. And then we need to do the same for the lower jaw. Okay, so the first step with file importing is complete and now we can move to the next one. So here uh, we can see the animated guides. Uh, later in this uh, tutorial they will not be animated, but in the final product they will be. And here we need to put uh, three points, uh, which will uh, lay in our x, y uh, plane, and it would put our model in the correct position. When finished it, we click apply, and now we can see the complete model um, stain and the correct position and from this window we can of course uh, tune it up uh, move uh, a bit from different uh, points uh, upper we have see, we are seeing a, a navigator uh, the design of it will be slightly changed later and we continue to see some tips uh, with some guides and help on how to navigate it so the second step is complete uh, let's move to the next one and here we need to put uh, in this step put two, two points on every tooth for bolt analysis and here's a very nice uh, tip regarding what to do when our uh, teeth are missing so um, by clicking here we can see that there is an option to put empty on a selected teeth, tooth. Uh, so it will be grayed out and it will mean that the uh, tooth is not present. And of course we have a history record here so we can go back uh, by um, several steps back and of course uh, forward if uh, we hit it um, uh, accidentally. Yeah, so um, uh, now, after putting all the uh, double points on our teeth, we can see, see a map of teeth here, and uh, those that are missing are grayed out and strike through. Also, we can see numbers of teeth here, which actually helps us to uh, see exactly uh, which teeth corresponds to which one on this scheme on the left. And it will, have, will help us not to make mistake by selecting uh, the shifted numbers of two teeth. And of course we can select each of them and uh, edit it uh, from the inside. You cannot edit it uh, while seeing all the lines uh, around. That will help you not to make uh, unnecessary moves or accidentally uh, shift the points. Okay, so uh, now we need to do the same for the uh, lower uh, jaw and here everything is done and at the left you can see a map of everything is uh, marked correctly and corresponding teeth are uh, highlighted here uh, in this view. And step number three is complete. Let's move forward and here and then step number four uh, we are dealing with segmentation. So uh, right after the third step the software will automatically segment uh, teeth from jaws and it will do with some very uh, cool algorithm uh, but uh, of course sometimes it uh, doesn't work 100% uh, uh, correct so we have an option to edit those segmentation lines and here um, we can select the tooth and um, for example for the tooth number 14 uh, we can edit this curve and uh, how it works you select the tooth and you can edit only the uh, segmentation line for this particular tooth uh, to do that uh, you have uh, you will have a circle uh, around your cursor and you can by clicking uh, shift and move this uh, curve nicely from inside and outside and when you're hovering your mouse over the line it becomes red meaning that you cannot do anything with that so it's like um, 
it's not like uh, in other software and some fancy uh, idea how it might work. We are not correctly sure it will be implemented in the final version, but it, we find it very uh, handy and nice. And of course you can change the brush, uh, brush size. Uh, after the color completing uh, the correction, you hit apply, uh, which will bring you back to the um, mode where you can select other teeth and of course you can do you can go to the another jaw and you can switch between those uh, in in the upper side and of course we have this nice uh, helpful circles uh, pointing where each tooth is and uh, section 4 is complete we can move on uh, and here we can see our teeth are perfectly segmented with pretty nice shiny texture of the uh, jaw uh, and uh, teeth and um, now in this uh, final uh, step we uh, are dealing with um, orientation so here we have uh, axis and centers of resistance and we of course can uh, edit them and from here we can look at both jaws uh, we can turn off um, uh, the gingiva and see the teeth with roots uh, and of course um, we can go to the editing mode where for each uh, every tooth we can correct the axis uh, like we see here so uh, please note that you don't see a uh, gingiva here you see only teeth and the teeth that are not active are uh, semi-transparent so they will not um, uh, be in front of your teeth in in um, in the case of this view so this is um, actually it's not backside view but uh, it's a, a view from uh, from the side uh, of the teeth the tooth and this one is from the front so you can actually r rotate uh, your axis exactly in the um, uh, plane you are seeing and with this uh, nice little uh, pivot you can actually move this uh, the center where actually axis starts and um, uh, here we have some nice uh, helpful uh, tips uh, that will be animated and uh, after finishing editing your uh, axis you hit apply and uh, by doing this for each tooth uh, actually the process of the importing is complete so we hit finish and we see very nice um, uh, jaw with T segmented with correct axis and stuff and after that we can go to our setup uh, mode which will have a very different uh, interface um, yeah so thank you have a nice day